In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of forms. Now, everybody that's been on the internet um, has dealt with forms. You had to have. Um, it's the main way you gather, a person gathers information from a site visitor. Could be any number of pieces of information that's gathered. Credit card numbers on websites, um, simply your login information, um, maybe a survey. Um, now, there's some poorly designed forms, which if it's poorly designed, um, either the visitor isn't going to even fill it out, or it's not designed well enough to where it forces the visitor to, to fill the, the form out, and they can simply enter miscellaneous data that's incorrect, and, and you're not really gathering accurate information. But there's some also very well-designed um, forms that don't take much time for the visitor to fill out and make it easy and quick. You're more likely to get accurate information from more visitors that way. Well, where the, these form elements are located, it's under Insert, and we're not going to actually open up and start creating it yet with this lesson. I'm just going to show you where they are. So under Form, that's why they're grayed out, because we don't have a document open. These are some of the key elements of a form. Text field, text area, button, checkbox, radio button, list menu, and file field. Those are some of the main ones that you're going to use and see on sites. And we're going to get into some of these um, spry or Java-based elements that you can insert and the advantages of those. But we'll get into that in a future lesson. So first of all, Forms on the web are just like paper forms in the sense that they're requesting certain types of information. Um, text field. Text field um, requests you to enter text. And it's normally a shorter amount of text, maybe a username. It's limited. Now, text area is virtually the same thing, except you can enter larger amounts of text, like give us a brief description of uh, the type of uh, product you're looking for. So it allows the, the user to put um, a little more of a limitless explanation of something. Button. Now the button is normally at the end of the form where you would hit submit or continue. You've seen that as a button. And it basically enters all the text you've already put in the form or all the items you've, you've picked from the elements and submits them to a specific location that you've designated. Checkbox. It is what it sounds like. You check the box if it applies. Radio button. Um, very useful. Um, you've seen these where you have two words that are side by side. Let's say you have male and female and there's a little circle beside each one. Well you can only pick one or the other. So. Um, once you click on the dot next to male, the dot that was on female disappears, and vice versa. You can only pick one. So that forces the user into um, picking a specific um, answer to the question. List menu also um, makes it easier on the users. Um, you've seen this before, um, where you have multiple choice, where you click on something and a drop-down menu occurs. and you're able to pick from, it's basically multiple choice. And we as the creator get to choose what those choices are. Now we have file field. And you've seen this before probably where you're able to upload. Maybe you're on monster.com and you're uploading your resume. You hit the upload button. It allows you to browse from the computer you're on to the file you want to upload. Then it puts um, that path in the field so that when you hit submit it uploads uh, from the designated path. I just thought I'd show you real quickly um, an example of a few of these on Google's home page. So if you went to Google's home page and you clicked on business solutions and say we clicked get started um, AdWords for instance 
Now, if we scroll down here, where's other business solutions, where was it? Start now. All right, this is where it was. I just thought I'd give you an example of a common site such as Google and their use of forms. Well-designed ones, too. All right, what do you think these are? Of the, of the buttons that we went over, you remember what they were? Form. And what were these? Radio buttons. So they're only letting you pick one or the other. So you notice you can either pick Starter Edition or Standard Edition. So you can't choose both. Those are radio buttons. Um, and you notice how when you chose this, these became grayed out. Now once we've chose Starter Edition, also two other radio buttons here allow you to only pick one or the other. So there's an example of some forms they're using. And here's a couple other elements they're using. Now what element of the form is this? Remember this drop-down menu? Do you remember what it was called? Well, if we go up here, refresh your memory, that was List Menu. Remember, it dropped down a multiple choice scenario. And then finally, they have an example here of entering specific text, um, and it tells you what type is expected, a phone number. So that would be inserting a text element. And then here, do you remember what this is? This is part of the form, too, that we um, briefly discussed. That was... Do you remember? That was button. So that was to continue on and submit the data that was entered beforehand. So that's just a brief overview of the concept of forms that we're going to now get into.